Welcome back to Kyra Box, everyone. I am Nicole, and today I want to start with a question for you. Have you started video marketing at your practice? If you haven't, this is going to be a great tutorial for you to get over that hump and just start creating videos. Um, they are a great resource for your patients and for your potential patients who are coming to your website and to your YouTube account and on Facebook. And they're not that hard to get into. Even if you have been creating videos, these are our top tips for spectacular video marketing campaign. And I bet you could learn a thing or two from these top tips. Tip number one is harder than it sounds. <laughs> Relax. That's all I want you to do. Uh, people really connect if you are loose and relaxed and comfortable in front of the camera. Likely that is not going to come right away, but that's okay. It takes practice. You can film 15 videos before you feel more comfortable in front of the camera. You don't have to publish any of those videos. You can just practice for a while. Practice talking to the camera, just like I'm doing right now. And as you get more comfortable, your viewers will notice and they'll like it. That's the kind of, that's the kind of video they want to be watching. Number two is related, but a little bit different. Be conversational. So I don't want you to be super formal with these videos. Those don't work as well on YouTube, social, even on your website. You should be professional, but also approachable at the same time. This, you're trying to basically win people over to come to your practice, to learn more about your practice, uh, and eventually to become a client of your practice. And you're going to do that more successfully if you are friendly to them. Number three, focus on one message. This is important and I think many times it's overlooked. You want these videos to only convey one main thought. If you have more than one thought, your viewers are going to get confused and not follow what you want them to do next. So focus on one message and within that, Keep your videos short and sweet. I don't think I talk about that later. So uh, focus on one message means that your videos should be powerful and concise. Don't make them longer than they need to be. People have very short attention spans now, and especially when you're just getting started, shorter videos are a win-win on both sides because they will take less time for you to create and more people will watch them because you're not demanding that much of their time. Number four. The content that you create itself should be educational content. Uh, I have over here this note, we've talked about this multiple times on our blog, that the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of your content should be educational and 20% promotional. That rule applies to your videos as well. If you create content within your videos that is educational for people, they will be that much more likely to watch them. There's plenty of videos out there saying why my chiropractic practice is the best, you should definitely come visit. And there is a time and place for that type of video. But when you're doing an actual campaign where you're producing videos week after week, keep it educational. Number five, this one hopefully will make you feel better. Quality content trumps production value. So especially when you're just starting out, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on great equipment or hiring a videographer and a great soundtrack. You can keep it at a pretty amateur level. We've seen very successful videos that are filmed just on an iPhone. So the key is to just start and as you go, you will get better and better and your production value will increase. What really draws people is the quality of the content. So focus on that first and foremost. That is tying in the message, being conversational, and creating educational content. Combine all that to create a really good piece and worry about the production value as time goes on. Lastly, number six here, way right at the bottom, remember your best practices. So video marketing is a piece of marketing overall. So the main best practices that we've talked about throughout all of our videos is 
still in effect here. So remember your goals. What is your end goal with this video? What goal is this video going to achieve? And if it's not achieving a goal, why are you creating the video? If you don't know what goal, think about that first before you sit down to create for sure the video, but even the content itself. And then also remember your target audience. I say this seriously every single video. Remember your target audience because if you don't know who your target audience is, you're not going to reach the right people. So think about that audience that you're trying to reach with every video that you create and your video will be that much more successful overall. Those are my top tips. These six, uh, we have more tips for you. We covered this whole topic this past week on the blog. So head to chiromox.com for more information there. And if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to reach out. Uh, I'm Nicole and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.